It was discovered by a great holistic medical doctor named Dr. Dietrich Klinghart that scars can cause trouble. So I have a personal story about this, and I've seen it over and over again with a lot of patients when I le- since I learned about this since 2004. But when I was in high school, I had a scar that was created because I had a birthmark right here over my chest, and a dermatologist had convinced my mom that this might turn into cancer later. So the surgeon cut it out and then took my skin and pulled it together like this, stitched it up. And when I stood up from the table, from the surgeon's table, I couldn't stand up straight. I couldn't, you know, throw my chest out or bring my shoulders back. I was hunched over and it was weird. I was like, how come I can't stand up straight? And then I just forgot about it. Later, I went out for cross country and I was huffing air like I was I was really bad at running. Whereas before that, I was running through the fields, working on the farm, um, you know, moving irrigation pipe and all that. So I had great endurance. But this surgical area prevented me from having any more endurance. So I would then get uh, chest pain right there. And at the age of 31, 32 years old, I thought I would have a heart attack. I couldn't run for more than 20 minutes without this really bad pain right there. So... When I got into muscle testing, I um, was tested by my mentor at the time, and he found that a scar was needed to um, be treated correctly because it was negatively affecting my heart. And he said to me, where is the scar affecting your heart? And I said, well, it's right here. And he goes, you have a scar over your heart? And this is in front of an audience of about 50 people, 50 doctors. I said, yeah, I have a scar right here. He said, you're too young to have heart disease. Well, I didn't have heart disease like placking, like a 70-year-old that's been eating eating bagels every day for 60 years. I had heart disease in that the scar was preventing nervous system flow and oxygen flow through the blood to my heart. And then I told him, yeah, I can't run for more than 20 minutes without chest pain. So he had me treat that scar. Now, this product, Scars and Adhesions, it's a spray and you can use this on your scars. You can just, just spray it directly on the scar, whether it's a belly button ring or maybe you have a surgical scar if you had your thyroid taken out, um, any kind of laparoscopic surgery, all those little scars. You can treat each one individually. So spray it on there and then rub it in. And then you can also take it orally like that and have some effects f- from within the body. Now, this is a homeopathic re- remedy, and I'm a big fan of homeopathy, although we don't use that much in the office. We mostly stick with biochemistry, oddly enough, but um, this is a great product. There's another scenario that maybe your practitioner is requesting that you do, and that is using a pearl of wheat germ oil from Standard Process or maybe sesame seed oil. So with those, you can poke that with a pin because it's a pearl, and then you can squeeze the oil out, and you rub that on your scar, and you massage it in. But um, it depends on what the muscle testing says, so... If your body wants scars and adhesions, then then you can use that. Now, the neurological problems that scars can cause are primarily in the center of the body. So if you have a scar anywhere in the center of your body, nose ring, I mentioned belly button rings. The belly button itself is a scar from when you were born. Um, Hernia surgery, open heart surgery, like when the chest gets opened up, uh, gallbladder removal over here, and um, any scar from trauma. Uh, cutting uh, glass, uh, ripping through the skin. What do, what do these do? They cut your nervous system. Yeah, they're cutting your skin. That's a problem. But it's more about the nervous system. So you have nervous system tissue in your skin and, of course, inside your body, in your spinal cord, and to all your organs. But when you cut the skin, the damaging part is cutting the nerves. So then you get scar tissue at the area where the cut was. And that scar tissue heals like this as opposed to like this. You want it to heal this way, not like that. So the nervous system signal will get crossed and bounced around when your tissue is like this. So to smooth this out and make it like this again, that's where scars and adhesions comes in. That's where the oil comes in. That's where massage comes in. So you can like, if your scar runs this way, you want to go like this and kind of break it up and make it loose. And there's a story of one of my mentors. He had a little girl that had an open heart surgery, and they that scar was a problem. And they treated it, and it actually fell off. The scar did. It turned black, and 
just came right off of her body. So if you have a scar here, let's say women who have a C-section, like that scar there can be quite nasty. And if you had an episiotomy after giving birth, then that scar can be trouble too. So you may have to treat that topically if it shows up as a problem, or if you want to, you can just do it just in case, preventatively.